Hello, it is Wednesday, September 17th, and you are watching Experience Points. Uh, I am the host, the writer, and the blogger on Experience Points, Nicholas Corey. Thank you so much for watching. I realize it's been a while since my last post. I think my last one was in August, uh, kind of around the time of Guardians of the Galaxy, and it was a short little post. Oh no, I did one after that too about Silent Hill and the new game coming out in one or two years or something like that. So anyway, I thought it was about time that I did another video post since it's been a while since I've done that. Um, as usual, my video posts focus on t three main subjects, and those are my work in the role-playing game industry. Um, my Originally, it was my career as an uh, English teacher and pursuing that, and now that has since shifted to my career in self-published fiction, and then also just significant events in my life. So let's just go ahead and get started and go down those lists. Um, for my work with the role-playing game industry and with Round 10 specifically, uh, that has reached a pretty noticeable standstill. Anybody who has visited the Round 10 website lately has seen probably some uh, news posts here and there. Uh, notice that the Round 10 print edition is now available to be purchased from lulu.com, uh, which is a big, uh, a big accomplishment as far as finally getting that available. Um, there's still some noticeable changes that I would like made to it, um, but unfortunately, as far as development for Round 10 or hardcore development for Round 10, I am going to be postponing that, um, or at least not working on it for, well, for the foreseeable future. Um, the reason for that is while the audience for Round 10, um, while there are a few very loyal fans, and I really appreciate the support that you've all given me, um, I have sunk a lot of money into the Round 10 just with the core rulebook, and I haven't seen a whole lot come back from that. And so looking at where I'm going with my life and with my choices and as far as career work and stuff like that, I have to kind of gauge um, the quality of work that I want to put out versus the amount of time and effort that I'm putting into it. Um, and what it comes down to is round 10, while I love the work and while I love providing that, uh, it isn't the return on it isn't strong enough to pursue that at the same quality of work as the core rulebook. So while I would like to do some supplements in the future, things here and there, um, it's probably going to be a while before any of those are released. So I apologize for the post that I put on round 10 at the beginning of the summer about three adventures and stuff like that. I will try and finish up and post what I have, but unfortunately um, it probably won't see anything new for at least a year. Um, However, of course, you can go to Corey Stories dot, excuse me, you can go to the Corey Stories website, which is nicholascorey uh, dot squarespace dot com, and you can get all of the Round 10 downloadable products there, including the core rulebook, which is, I think, marked down to six ninety nine, dollars um, and then RPG has it for free for a limited time, so you can get it there as well. So it is, you can still pick up the stuff you need for Round 10. Unfortunately, you won't see anything new for a little while. And again, probably about a year for that, unfortunately. Uh, as far as my work with self-published fiction, uh, Cybersaurus Season 1, The Awakening, has finally finished. Um, I have all six episodes available digitally across multiple sites, whether it's Kobo, Smashwords, Amazon, or the Corey Stories website. Um, and also, I am working on getting the print edition um, ready for mass production and print-on-demand, basically. Uh, so I ordered a proof, I've adjusted that, now I've ordered some personal copies for myself to hand out uh, to people who I would like to give them to, and then after that it will be available for everybody to get probably sometime in early October, around the same time that the digital version of the full book will be released. Uh, with Cybersource, excuse me, with Cybersource finishing, with Season 1 done, I don't want to jump right into Season 2 right away, I kind of want to put it off and I want to explore some other um, series options, and if you keep up with my Corey Stories website, or if you follow um, any of my stuff that I post on the Facebook page, you'll understand, you'll have uh, known that for a while now. And the next series that I want to work on, or the next season that I want to do, um, it's, right now the work, the working title is Dead City. I don't think I'm going to call it that, simply because there are already two other fiction series called Dead City available on Amazon. So I'll probably come up with a different title. Um, but that's going to be a lot more dark suspense, um, have a very post-apocalyptic feel to it. And it's not zombies, so don't worry about that. That's one of the reasons why I want to change the uh, change the title. Um, but, uh, yeah, and that's that will be available starting in mid-December. 
I think December 14th or 16th or something like that is the first episode release, and then they'll release on a weekly schedule, and I will stick to that weekly schedule, because unlike with Cybersaurus, I'll actually be writing everything in advance. Uh, so everything will be updated and posted uh, every week, starting on Tuesday in mid-December. Um, six episodes again. Uh, it'll be a little bit shorter than Cybersaurus The Awakening, uh, but it'll still be considered a full season by the end of it, a full novel, once you get all six episodes, and then it'll be made available as a single book um, sometime in mid-January or February, uh, both physical and digital. And then after that, as far as future serials go, there's a couple other ones I want to do. Um, I really am excited to do uh, one that, again, the working title is Astral Tides, and that's kind of a steampunk um, style science fiction high fantasy story uh, that will be set largely in space. Um, if any of you are familiar with the Spelljammer uh, setting for Dungeons and Dragons, uh, for the old Dungeons and Dragons, it's kind of inspired by that as far as sailing ships through space. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, I'm really excited for where that story is going to go. And I already have kind of like the general overarching plot down. It's just the specific character stuff and, and then detailed subplots that I have to work out. So, But that'll be a lot of fun when I get to that. And then after that, um, in about mi halfway through 2015 is when I will uh, start working and finish Cybersaurus Season 2, uh, Revolution. So you'll be able to look forward to that as well, those of you who are fans of Cybersaurus. And then as far as things in my uh, personal life or stuff that significant events, um, I'm happy to say that I am about two weeks out from moving out of this this crummy little apartment that I've had for the last couple of years. And it's not terribly crummy. It's actually pretty nice. It's, it's a decent sized apartment, but I will be getting a house, uh, renting a house um, with my girlfriend and her daughter. Uh, so yeah, I'm very excited to be doing that, to be moving into a, a space better suited to our lifestyle together and better suited to um, my career as a self-published fiction author. Uh, I will have an office. I will have scheduled time set aside every day for writing, generally in the evenings, except for, again, like on Wednesdays and Saturdays, I'll have some daytime to work on it. Uh, so I'll have a set number of hours I'll be working on my writing every week. So it's, it's actually, it's, it's moving forward as a career. It's not just a hobby anymore. And that's exactly where I want it to be. Um, as far as blog updates, I do want to get back in the habit of doing them regularly. It'll probably be once a week, and since Wednesdays are my day when I'm available during the day, it'll, they'll probably happen on Wednesdays, whether it's a written post or a video such as this. Um, maybe there will be something at a different time in the week, like a Sunday or a Saturday, but it'll almost always be Wednesday. So if you are fans of the blog and you miss seeing my lovely face or miss reading my lovely words... Um, you'll have something to look forward to at least. Uh, as far as like my work with the theater, uh, some of you know that I've been very uh, much a part of the local community theater culture. Um, that is another thing that I've kind of put on the back burner. I might do some more around the holidays uh, in December or January, but as of right now, it's not something that I want to fill my time with. Um, my time is being very filled as it is, uh, as far as between two jobs at FedEx and Target, and then also with my writing, and now uh, in living with um, my girlfriend and her daughter, and the time that I need to devote to them and to my friends and family, I'm being stretched in a lot of different directions. Um, and the plays were one of those things that were easy to cut out. Um, not that I wanted to, but uh, I was doing them just because it was fun, and really, there's a lot of other things that I need to be working on at this time. Again, spending time with friends and family, working on my career as a self-published author, and then my two jobs. So, yeah. Um, so it's really exciting. I will have I will do a special video when we get the house and when we're actually moved in, kind of like a an unboxing, as you will, of the house. Uh, just kind of give a quick tour of it and give you an idea of the lifestyle that that I'll be, the lifestyle changes that I'll be making. Um, but anyway, yeah, consider this, and I know I've said this before, and hopefully this will stick this time, but consider this the first of many Wednesday morning videos. Um, as always, thank you very much for watching. Thank you very much for your support. Uh, please check any and all of the links that I'll be posting in the description of this video or in this blog post if you're on my blog. If you're on YouTube, it's in the video description. Um, any questions, comments, concerns, or criticisms, please let me know. Any feedback on Cybersaurus? or on any ideas or, or uh, conjectures you may have as far as future fiction, 
um, or anything for round 10. I'm always available. So post in the comments, uh, let me know what you think, and I will see you on the flip side.